Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you for a minute. If you're wondering what I've been up to and... Oh, I hate the lighting on this. Um, I'm on my phone. Um, if you're wondering what I've been up to, I've been dealing with a screaming baby and literally like just staying up. So, yeah. Um... Not only that, I've had vlogs lined up on my memory card, and my memory card snapped in half. And I was upset about it. I was literally ready to, I was ready to give up. Um, so Austin took me today and got me some Chick-fil-A, of course. And then we went to go to get another memory card. So once I get home, I will install all that. And then I will be up vlogging again. I had my lactation um, recipe that what I do to help me lactate, not lactate, but like keep up my milk supply. And I had a video for that and it was gonna be totally rad and awesome. But <laughs> it's gone. It's literally gone. So yeah. And then I had some daily vlogs and stuff and I was so upset I was like well, why is this gotta happen to me I don't understand so yeah. and then my grandmother had fractured her back so I am going there to help her out and do some things for her just get things done I got both of the kids with me so we'll just see how all this goes so far, so good. Christian's been in a good mood today, so yes, we've been real good here lately. Me and Austin's been real good. I've not found my ring. Um, I was very upset about it, cried about it. So it's, it's got to be in this car somewhere, but Austin thinks it dropped out, so he ended up getting me a new one. I still cried because it, it's not about the ring or the because a ring is just a thing. It was a sentimental thing that he, you know, got down on when he proposed to me and, you know, and I cried and I just remember the whole, like every time I look at, looked at that ring, just flashbacks of that moment, like how nervous he was and how he was an amazing and he's such an amazing guy. You know, it just, it's heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking that it's gone it's just gone but I told Austin I said I'm always going to be searching that car every single time we clean it I'm going to be searching it oh sorry I'm going to be searching the car every single time um because one day I will find that ring I will if it's in this car I will find that ring I will and I will keep it you know, but he ended up getting me a new one because he don't want me going out without a ring. Not, not out in public, like, because I missed something being there. So, he said, okay, well, I'm going to get you a new one so you guys will get to see that. He sent it off to get it resized. So, that's good. That's good. So, it's just heartbreaking that, you know, I lost it. I was crying that day. And I was crying the next day when I seen him. He come into work and I thought he was joking. Like I thought he had the ring the whole time and was just joking about it and was gonna tease me with it, but he literally didn't have it. So that made me upset and I just cried even more. So it was heartbreaking. It was very, very, very heartbreaking. You know, I'm sure people out there who's lost their rings know how I'm feeling. I can still cry about it. If I keep talking about it, I'm gonna cry. But Every time I will search this vehicle, I will. And I will not get rid of this vehicle until I find it. Because the moment we get rid of it, or sell it, or whatever, is the moment someone will find my ring and I will be mad. So, sorry people, I ain't selling my vehicle until I find my ring. I need my ring. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> it's just a sentimental thing. It's just something special to me. Um, like I said, it's not about you know how much it was it's not about the ring it's not about it's just a ring is just a thing it's just a sentimental and the thought that he put in and put in it 
and done all that and picked it out. So, so yeah, right now, going to my grandma's and Christian's back there talking. But, uh, can't stand being on my phone. Like people probably think I'm crazy or talk or video chatting. People probably think I'm video chatting, but I'm not video chatting. I'm talking to my uh, Facebook, not Facebook, YouTube family. <laughs> so, and I thank you guys for all the support and patience. Thank you guys for being very patient with me right now. Um, but I promise more videos are going to go up. Um, and if there's any videos you want me to do, please comment down below and let me know. Because it'd be very, very exciting to know what y'all want to see me do or what y'all want to see out of my kids or hauls or anything you can think of I will do it I don't care I will do it you know just for you guys just for you so definitely definitely we'll do it just seeing these cars go by so yeah and then I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I promise a vlog is gonna be going up more often because I cannot stand not vlogging. I love vlogging, especially going back on my kids' life. I still go back on my videos and watch my kids and they're so amazing on me being pregnant. It's awesome and how miserable I was. I might not want no more kids. I don't know. I know. I don't want more kids until they are old enough to know until these boys are old enough to know what sex is like 12 13 years old um we'll have another kid so they can help take care of it and they can hear a crying baby stuff like that to know what it's like to take care of a baby and to think twice before you go out and do something of course I will tell them you know in the bible you know it says you need to wait until marriage so that's always important that's very important to me unfortunately I didn't do that but I want my kids to be better than I am like they deserve like 10 times better they are an amazing kids like I love them to death so this video is getting long <laughs> so I will see you guys in my next video I promise I will be videos up so make sure to like this video and hit subscribe <laughs> bye guys